My name is Olive, Ver Olive Rob, and I'm 102 years old. I was born in Ogallala, Nebraska. My dad was a, a city transfer man, I guess you'd call him. He drove a team of mules instead of a car or a truck, like hauled the products. They, you know, also coal. People burnt coal in those days. We just grew up. It was so different. They would, no way would believe like today with all the things that you, the young people have. We just found our own muse, but there was, swam in the uh, Platte, North Platte River, went right by the town, and in the summertime, the kids all just went down the river and swam, and uh, we played paper dolls, the girls. <laughs> it was a whole new era, so what it is, you know. I learned to drive when I was 12 years old, so I just, my brother showed me how to manipulate the wheel, and I just got in and drove from then on. But so many changes. Now, I just thought today that the kids all had their different things. They were, the phones and everything, how much different it is now right. than when Janice when I was in high school, you know, I was right. growing up. Well, I fell in love with my husband. His folks lived in the same town I did. And uh, his, uh, he came to Ogallala. His dad had a barber shop there. And he came and he was a barber and he worked for his father. And he was a friend of my brother's. And uh, he was six years older than I was. So he was out of school and everything, you know. But I just knew I was going to marry him. So I graduated from high school at 17 years old. And I taught school for a year. I took teacher's training. And I taught school. I had 13 pupils. And when the school was out, I got on the train and came to Oregon and got married. We lived in Pendleton. And that's where our daughter was born. And then we uh, moved to Newburgh, and that was where I ended up until mm -hmm. here. I worked in a variety store, a little old-fashioned variety store, and we carried everything. <laughs> and I loved that little store. Like at Easter time, I'd make all Easter baskets, mm. fill them, you know, and, and all. And, and Christmas decorated all. And, I really love that stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Wilbur Rob, he loved to keep his yard up, and, and uh, um, as I say, he owned the barber shop, and that's what he did. Was I was in love. <laughs> <laughs> Just ready to draw his first, so, first Social Security. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he went to Nebraska to visit his folks who lived back there. Mm -hmm. And he was coming home on the train. And when the train got to Denver, he had a heart attack mm -hmm. and died on the train in Denver. I, I can't talk about it too much. She was an angel. I loved her so much. And she had cancer. Mm. And she had two children. And uh, the daughter was married. And uh, well, the son got married too. While she was, when she died, she had both of them. Okay. They lived in, in uh, California. 
parents are so wonderful to me. Mm-hmm. And I've been here three years. Right. It'll be three years. Mm-hmm. And I just have enjoyed it. And I've met all their fa- your fam- their family. Done things and seen things I never saw before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't miss the Trailblazers game if I could help it. <laughs> and I also have my picture in the uh, Portland paper with from the Trailblazers with their shirt on. Well, I've had a lot of good things in my life, but it has been sad losing all my brothers and sisters. My family are all gone. Mm-hmm. And then I lost my daughter. So that part hasn't been good. Mm-hmm. But I do have good friends. Still, but people have helped me out. Yeah. But I never thought I'd live this long. <laughs>